Good. And you can lean this way. The other way. There you go. I'll lean anyway. Okay. <laughs> um, first of all, talk about this moment. You're, you're smiling big time today, which is nice to see. Last we talked, you had the whole finale since then, and it's been a lot of good times, I know. But mm -hmm. last we talked, that was that was your last week, and it was kind of kind of a bummer for all your fans, and, and for you, I'm sure, in yeah. lots of ways. Talk about life life since, how have things um, gone up? I guess after, like, since the last time we talked to you, a lot of things have happened, which is pretty crazy because it wasn't that long ago. But um, once you get over being bummed out because you left the show, and you don't have that much time to think about it anyway, because then we all came back for the finale, which was incredible. It was just just such an honor, an amazing experience to perform with all those people that we got to meet and, and sing with. And, and then um, after that, we still had to do some press. And then some of us got to go home, not for long, and not even everybody, but um, I think half of us got to go home for like a day and a half and pack our bags. And then we went to New York and did um, did some publicity for M&M's, their new M&M's pretzel, and we got to come out of a giant M&M, which yeah. who doesn't want to do that? Sure. And then we came back here, and we've been rehearsing for, I think, over a week now, and it's coming along great. So we're all just really excited and, and just looking forward to performing for the people who got us this far, mm -hmm. for the people who voted, and there are no judges on tour. <laughs> it's probably the best part. Just the people that love what you do. Yeah. yeah. You mentioned the M&M &M thing. When you signed up for this and you got to a certain level, are, are, do you get used to this kind of crazy stuff every <laughs> week? Is it ever, you ever get used to it or is it always something like, wow? I don't know if I'll ever get used to it, but it's always exciting and it keeps you on your toes because you never know what's coming up next. And then you find out that you're going to come out of a giant M&M and you're like, that's awesome. What's you know, and then what? And so you're always just excited for what might come up next because, you know, when you first sign up for American Idol, it's not like they get into the details of, and if you make the top ten and you go on tour, then you'll get to come out of a giant M&M. &M. They don't tell you things like that when you first try out. You just think, okay, I'm going to try out, and if I'm lucky, I'll get on TV. <laughs> and that's about it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. At the center of it all, though, at when, at what point of the day when you're up on stage do you ground yourself and know it's all about your talent and your voice? And is, is someone telling you that, or do you know that yourself? It all comes back to that probably for you on a daily basis. At some yeah, point. I think, well, it's, a, it's very important for all of us to stay level-headed, and, and you can't get too excited or too carried away um, to an extent, in a certain way. I mean, you can, obviously, you need to be very excited while you're performing, and... Um, when we've been rehearsing, I just love the songs that I'm doing so much, and and sometimes I do get a little carried away. I just get so wrapped up in the song, but that's a good thing. That means that mm -hmm. you chose good songs, and I don't know. I just get really into it, and I started to imagine what it's going to be like on the tour, and I just can't wait. I wish it were tomorrow, but we still have a couple more weeks, and. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know, I just, you just have to kind of relish in everything that happens and think about how lucky we are and that this could end at any given moment. So you really just have to work your hardest every day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You talked about getting carried away and we were chatting before that and said, you're one of the very few artists it seems like in certain, in certain ways you're fearless with your style, with your you know lack of inhibitions on stage and choosing the songs. Is that something that's just innate with you, or that uh -huh. certain artists have that, not everyone does, but there's a certain lack of self-consciousness that I think what people who, who love what you do really appreciate. Well, thank you. I mean, I just, I love to make a statement, and I think I've spent too much time already being self-conscious and being worried about what other people think, and it starts to take a toll on you, and bog you down and I decide I decided at one point that I don't want to feel like that anymore because if there are people who don't like the same things I like or don't agree with how I perform or how I present myself then I'm not doing it for them I'm doing it for the people who 
who do appreciate it and I'm doing it for myself because it's fulfilling for me so mm -hmm. if you remember those things when you get up on stage and you just make it as much fun as possible then that's you know that's exactly what it'll be and there are things that make me happy that they might not make you happy but if it makes me happy to come out in huge boots and and sing a badass song pardon my french i don't know if i'm allowed to use that Anything word works. but we're good you know that makes me feel on top of the world mm -hmm. and so that's what i plan on doing and you know not everybody's gonna like it there are gonna be people even in the audience at these shows who during my set are gonna be like oh brother is it over yet you know because they're there to see somebody else but you know that I think there's no great artist who hasn't faced any adversity and any kind of problems or people who didn't like them. Mm -hmm. So but when you're having fun, there's also the great thrill of looking out in the audience and seeing yourself kind of win someone over that may be yeah. like this when it starts. But yeah, and mm -hmm. I just I'm just really excited, regardless of what other people think. You know, I think all of us have earned the right to just get up on stage and maybe get a little carried away, but mm -hmm. having that much more fun because the pressure of the voting and the judging is off. Mm -hmm. So this is a big tour. It's getting carried away, but it's getting carried away for over 50, over 50 <laughs> shows here. So obviously you're excited and it's going to be fun, but what, what do you do to get yourself all really psyched up for this? Is, just, is it just pure adrenaline um, that's going to carry the... Yeah, I mean, tour? every time that I rehearse my set, I just get really excited because I start to imagine what it's going to be like when it's all put together and when we're all done preparing and it's ready and then we've got to go do wardrobe fittings and start to create our outfits which is also really exciting for me because it's like having so much at your fingertips and you pick and choose and you're building this you know you you only have one little slot of time but in that slot of time you get to say here I am and this is what I do and mm -hmm. I hope you like it mm -hmm. so you have to choose very carefully to make it just right mm -hmm. especially because we're gonna be doing it all summer <laughs> you know you don't want to pick a song that you're like oh it's all right because mm -hmm. you have to do it every night I don't know how much you want to give away <laughs> but what, what could your fans expect in terms of songs you've done before in the show what can people expect in terms um, of some new surprises I think that my fans will definitely be happy with the song that I choose to do from the show because it was one of my favorites and I think they would agree with me. And then my other songs I'm also really excited about because it's it's a kind of a kind of thing that I didn't really get to do on the show because of all the themes and you know, having to tailor your performance to what they asked of you that week. So these are songs that I never really had an opportunity to do anything like it before. And I hope that it makes people say, oh, wow, I, I like that she can do that, too. Mm -hmm. Now, once you get through that, this will this will be this will be done. It'll be a wonderful tour. But it kind of begs the question, then, how does the second to hopefully your record and what you want to do when these new songs are performing, the artistic style of Siobhan, where that goes come fall? Um. I think, I mean, every bit of experience helps, and it helps you figure out slowly but surely who and what you want to be and how you want to be perceived. And um, I, I don't think it necessarily puts a pin on still like what my genre will be because I can't really tell you. I couldn't, I couldn't tell you. Okay, when I make my album, it's going to be a rock album. I can't mm -hmm. promise anything just depends how I feel at the time when I'm writing it and and what moves me really but um, I definitely love the songs that I'm doing on tour and it would be really cool to write stuff that's like them so mm -hmm. um, it it definitely is like I guess helpful in deciding what path they want to take mm -hmm. Have you let that process start? Are you someone that goes on tour? Are you going to be with a notebook? Yeah. Doing your own stuff? So. Yeah. And I already have stuff from before mm -hmm. the show that I'd been writing and kind of storing in my brain and in my notebooks. And um, 
just I have a lot of stories to tell and I have a lot of messages to get across whether they're my own or the people around me that I feel like their stories should be told too so I definitely have a lot to work with and and you know I'm just hopeful that I'll be able to create things that effectively tell those stories mm -hmm. is this something that's going to happen soon has already plans and works to get you in the studio like when this is done is um, that we don't really know yet mm -hmm. I don't know that much so right now I've kind of just got my sure. fingers crossed that somebody will offer me a, a record deal or you know that somebody wants to work with me mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. uh, I know speaking of artists you may want to work with I know you finally had a chance to catch up with your, your Hanson guys mm -hmm. recently. That was all over the place. How much fun was that? And that's kind it was of a culmination too much of this. Fun. Yeah. <laughs> it was really just the biggest honor and one of the biggest things that ever happened that I could ever dream of. And not many people can say that they got to spend time with their favorite band and even just to, to say thank you. Um, I can't really describe the feeling of getting the opportunity to thank somebody who's done that much for you that they didn't even know it. Mm -hmm. You know, it's the craziest thing. It just blows my mind still. But um, what they've done for me since I was about six years old is just such, it's such an important thing. It's helped make me who I am and get me where I am right now and and it's just kind of that proof of how much music means to me and how much it's helped me my whole life mm -hmm. so it's really the most tremendous thing to get to share that with the people around you and then for it to come full circle and be standing face to face with people who have been your own personal heroes and mm -hmm. and um sharing that with them, getting to perform with them. Especially one of the songs that I got to sing with them, it's called Been There Before, and it's about how music is such a universal thing that that we can share and use to help each other just get on with life and cope with things that happen to you. And mm -hmm. um, there's a lyric in the song that says, when you can't get through it, you can listen to it. That's just, I think that's a perfect way to describe how it feels when you feel like you have nothing else, but you still have the music that helps you get through every day. Mm -hmm. And sometimes that's all you feel like you have, but it's just enough. Yeah. And then the other wonderful side of that also, you can say the same things about probably people that are six years old that are watching you on Idol. They're looking to you the same way. I don't know how much that you've been conscious of in terms of letters and emails and people that have met you after, sh after gigs, but... That must be a great feeling as well. Yeah, that's what it's all about, I think, because I've been able to take so much from the vast amount of music there is in the world. And what I've taken, I feel like if I were able to give back, if I were able to create things that help people in the way that I was helped by other musicians, then that would be my ultimate goal just because... It, it makes it make sense that this is what I'm doing and it gives me hope that there's a reason for things like this to happen mm -hmm. I guess I just I feel like I I'd like to complete the cycle you know and do my part well you're on your way we're excited thank about you thank you very you. much you too all right well I can't. Okay. Tomorrow oh, I'll shoot over yeah. there. That'll do it. <laughs> I'll do the trick. I had to go um, drool on a beach somewhere just to kind of recover. Yeah. How fun. My brother's girlfriend just got back from Hawaii where she did a 20 month internship on the farm. She wants to be a farmer. After um, we can do the first song, that um, we can't have the entire. Anyway, 
So. <laughs> You've seen our show. Although, 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 I mean, yes. But I understand. I understand. I understand. Yeah. No worries. So, yeah. Uh, You guys ready? This one goes out to Nancy. <laughs> okay, you guys ready? Uh, filming as well? Yes. Cool. All right, here we go. Just to you. I've got my guitar picked. That's air guitar. So that's I'm, playing. I'm playing it right now. <laughs> okay.
Because we only have one more verse and then chorus and that's it. So I don't want to give the whole song away.